When it comes to making a responsible energy decision for your family and the planet, choose clean natural gas from Atmos Energy. Natural gas is safer and more reliable than other energy solutions and can reduce your home's carbon emissions by up to 45%. By using less total energy than other energy sources, natural gas lowers your impact on the environment. It's just another way that Atmos Energy makes your life better. Atmos Energy, your natural gas company. In the faces of our people, you'll see joy and you'll see pride. You'll see lines from years of laughter and from all the tears we've cried. You'll see eyes that shine with wisdom and the love that makes us whole. For within our people's faces, there are glimpses of our soul. Serving the people of Louisiana since 1934. of the Coach Roger Kador Show. Do not attempt to adjust the color settings on your show. No, this is not Coach <laughs> Roger Kador. Coach Dan Canterbury, pinch hitting for Coach Kador this week. First off, Dan, how's Coach Kador feeling after having a bit of a relapse with that health issue he's been battling? He's been battling that for longer than when he went into the hospital for the last time. He's been right. struggling the last half of the year. But uh, speaking to him on the way over here, speaking to him today, he sounds better, but he's still congested. He's still clearing his lungs, but his energy levels are a little bit better. But we got to be careful because that was the way he was before. Right. And then he got the relapse. What was the mindset of the team heading into this make or break game with a chance to literally rise from the dead against Texas Southern? Well, coach had set the table with that. Mm -hmm. But the bottom line is, these kids wanted to win it for Roger. Yes. They wanted to win it for Coach. Yes. And it sounds a little corny, but that's okay because it was real. And uh, these kids really, uh, they love Coach Cator, and they really wanted to make sure that he didn't end his season on a sour note. Well, speaking of, let's pick up the highlights from innings one through three. Make a break situation, do or die, as the Jaguars take on Texas Southern. Dan? Daniel Franklin uh, doing a great job here in the first inning. Very emotional when he got to the mound. You know, he punched him out, but in the second inning, he struggled a little bit, and uh, they had to base a little bit. Look at right here. Robinson Mateo makes a, saves a run by making that dive and play. They had runners awesome. at first and second, and he kept the bases loaded. Now watch this here. He throws a curveball, strikes him oh, out, wicked. and uh, punches out Guillory, their catcher, and uh, almost gets himself out of the inning. He's got two outs, and then he walks on. Ouch. Okay, so he walks in a run. We think we're going to be okay here because, you know, anytime you get the bases loaded, you figure one run, we'll live with it. Right. But now we go out to the mound, and what we find out is Daniel's a little sore in his elbow, and uh, so he said he's going to finish the inning. Well, he throws a curveball and hits their best hitter, uh, Lucia, right with a curveball. It kind of leaned over the plate a little bit, I argued, but the music was too loud, and they couldn't hear me. But uh, he comes in and gets him out right here on a on a strikeout, and uh, like, like I said, he was a little tight, so we had to go and get time for Harold Miles to get going. But in the first inning, uh, we, we didn't score, but in the second inning here, we get back to the order, and uh, great hit. Malik Blaze goes from first to third. Great hit by JV and Williams, and now we're first and third. And now Phil Williams takes the walk, which nice. is huge. Loads up the bases. Yes. And now it's time for a big hit. We need to deliver the hit. The time to hit something that we've struggled with a little bit throughout the course right. of the season. And Ashanti Wheatley comes through, hits a hard hit ball. We come around full speed around third base, never slow down. Good slide by Javi, and we get two runs. But look at the runners advance to second nice. and third. And that set it up nice. And now they're on the mound. They're trying to discuss what they're going to do. And Robinson Mateo's uh, after Pope. So like I figured, with the second and third, left the base open for Pope. Right. So they walked him. But now Robinson Mateo, the senior, let's just call him, he's the senior captain and leader, comes up. Uh, I'm sorry, then uh, uh, Harris hits a deep fly ball, 
And that scores a run. It gives us the lead at three to two. Yes. And now we're at second and third. Even Pope moved up to second. It was that deep. And now Robinson Mateo comes up. I'm sorry, I lost the order. And now Mateo gets one. And in this short porch, it went to our advantage. He gets it just over the left field just fence. Just enough. And a three-run homer. And we go from three to two and expand the lead to six to two. And that really gives us some breathing room with Herod Miles coming in the game. So Franklin left. Uh, you know, giving up the two runs, but we caught up, and now Harold has some room to breathe. And that's uh, some room that was certainly much needed because, as most members of the Jaguar Nation know, baseball nation, that is, we've struggled maintaining that lead throughout the season. Now, here's a big play. Get a pop-up. Malik Blaze, you know, comes over and gets it. Harold's ball was moving a lot. They were popping up. He was really dominating them. But look at this. Bobby Johnson with a bullseye Way to throw. Go, Bobby. And uh, Bobby threw two runners out in this ball game. He's been playing great defense for us as of late. He struggled a little bit at the plate. And everybody's dancing. <laughs> everybody's there. We're having a good time. The Jaguars are winning. Everybody wants to take Paul Ben's place, even <laughs> on the road. When, Everywhere. When we come back, we move ahead to segment two of this week's edition of the Coach Roger Cato Show. Stay close. In the frenzy for exciting new games from the Louisiana Lottery. Win up to $200,000. Scratch the back of the $500 frenzy ticket for a bonus game. Score big with Frenzy Today from the Louisiana Lottery. It was nearly a decade ago that Brett teamed up to Imagine Your Parks and you imagine big. 12 beautiful community parks from one end of the parish to the other. One family-sized water park and five other parks just for your dogs. You have places to splash and places to explore. You have games to play and camps galore. No matter what you like to do or see, visit Breck.org and see how together we have made Breck better than imagined. <laughs> You don't have to understand the physics of flying to fly easy. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Baton Rouge. Striking out is never fun, especially when it comes to your credit. So write this down, DiamondMonster.com. Through their great financing sources, they'll work to get you the lowest interest rate possible. That means lower payment on a better car, like a new Mazda or a great used car. I promise it'll be a car you will love at a price you would like. I've known these people for over 20 years, and they'll treat you like an MVP on Airline Highway or DiamondMonster.com. Welcome back to segment two of this week's edition of the Coach Roger Cador Show. Coach Dan Canterbury sitting in for Coach. Coach, after taking the lead in the third inning, were you worried about that troubling trend that we've had throughout the course of the season, not being able to hold on to that lead? Actually, Clarence, I tell you what, I was never worried about it because I saw the confidence in the players. I saw the dugout. Right. And they were on a mission. Awesome. They were really on a mission, and I felt real good about it. And also, we had a weekend people and our relievers, so we had right. everybody to play one game. Great point. Great point. Let's go back to Houston and we will pick up the middle innings and of course we will let Coach Dan do the honors. Uh, once again, I'm telling you, Harold Miles pitched very, very well. He's pitching a contact. So he get pitched the ball, got him to hit it to the deepest part of the park. You know, he's delivering pitch after pitch after pitch. Here's a fly ball, just a little floater right. out there to Andreas, uh, to Andreas Harris out in left field. Doing a great job. And now we get the big pop up. And this is a play that's plagued us. Malik Blaze, for some reason, went over and tried to take the ball away from Phillips short, and the run scored. And those are the plays that have been killing us all year. So I went out to settle it down. Right. All right, guys, let's just settle down. Don't worry about it. And Harold comes back, and sure enough, he strikes him out. 
and that ends the inning and gets us out of a jam. So we leave it there at six to three, right. and we're still comfortable. But we got to get another run. And look at this this job here. We get a, a, a little play here, and you know he gets him out. Pope hits a hard ball and goes right off. But he thinks he's going to turn, but the shortstop got the ball off the third baseman. So luckily he beat it out. Not going to see that too often. John then, Pope beats the play out. That's right. And then Dondreas <laughs> hits a hard ball, but right at the third baseman. And then Harold continues in a ground ball. Quick out. He just continues to throw him in the strike zone. Get him to not hit balls well. But then again, what plagues us, you know, you get that pitch. And it hits, but he hit him with a fastball this time. And as a pitching coach, you don't want to hit a guy with a curveball. Hit him with a fastball. I mean, not that you're trying to hit him, but at least right. you do a little damage. Right. He's hurting a little <laughs> bit. And now, and then once again, here it is, the play of the game. Bobby throws Bobby him out. On the spot. And from that point on, it shut down their running game. They wouldn't run anymore. And that was a big factor because that's their game. So it took them out of what they do well. And then again, here's another pop-up. Now this time the bench is yelling, Malik, it's all yours. You take it. And of course he does. And uh, we're out of the inning. And it's a good job by Malik. Way to come back mentally. And now we steal here. Mateo steals, gets up, and gets the third base with no outs. They thought we were going to bunt. They pinched their corners in. Right. And uh, Bobby took the curveball. And now Mateo's at third base. And now Bobby's just got to get him in. And he does with a fly ball. But now we're back to the – so we get that one more run. We needed to increase the, the uh, score. Right. And now Harold's doing his job. Guillory thinks he's got one here, but he missed it. And, of course, we're right under it. Another pop-up for Harold. Outstanding. And that uh, shuts down the Harold Miles. Three innings, excellent baseball by Harold. Was the game winner on that one. It was really big for us. Were the Jaguars able to hang on? You want to find out, you got to stick around. When we go to segment three of the Coach Roger Cato Show. Stay close. have to understand the physics of flying to fly easy. Baton Rouge Metropolitan Airport. Hey, Coach Roger Kador here. There's something about teamwork that brings the best out in any business. When I need a tow, I call Roadrunner Towing. Roadrunner's four generations strong and homegrown right here in Baton Rouge. Thanks, Coach. There's no job too large or too small. Call Roadrunner for quick, reliable, exceptional service. We don't want an arm and a leg. We just want your toes. And remember, Take time each day to be a blessing to someone. Thank you. Get caught up in the frenzy. Four exciting new games from the Louisiana Lottery. Win up to $200,000. Scratch the back of the $500 Frenzy ticket for a bonus game. Score big with Frenzy Today from the Louisiana Lottery. Welcome back to segment three of this week's edition of the Coach Roger Kador Show. Dan Canterbury, pinch hitting for Coach this week. Dan, after thinking the season was over, then finding out there's one more chance, taking the lead in the third, did you ever worry emotionally that it was too much of a roller coaster for this team to handle? I tell you what, this team has been great handling adversity. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I was talking to some of the players today, and one of the things, believe it or not, with Coach not going to Prairie View and playing the three game set, right. we were already prepared for him not coming uh, for one game. Great point. Meaning we had already worked those kinks out over three games. Right. And, as, and, and we had some adversity there. We lost at the bottom of the ninth inning. True. With two outs and nobody on, we lose. Great point. So we had already been through all that, and the player said it was kind of normal. Right. You know, in, in a way. Right. And they yeah. felt that the three-game series against Prairie View without Coach was tougher than one game without him because of the emotional value of, of him talking to the team and being sick and the finality of it all right. was really big for these kids. So they were dynamite. 
final three innings. We will go back to Houston and show you how this one all culminated. Winner takes all, Jaguars and Texas Southern. Coach? Now we get into the latter innings, and it really, uh, they brought in left, a couple of left-handed pitchers that really did a good job. But again, Troy Lewis doing a great job for us. Great job by Malik. Hard ground ball. Malik gets it. And Watts, of course, makes the play at first. And here you go, another pop-up out there, and uh, Javian's right under it. And, of course, he gets him out of the inning, and Troy is moving along. And th their guy, we get a walk here. Walks always seem to come in those scoring innings. They seem mm -hmm. to be big. And Mateo gets on. Now the ball gets away from the catcher, which is better than a sacrifice. But Mateo kind of digs him, thinks about it. It's a big wide turn there. But he's trying to draw a throw and see if he can get the guy to throw it away. Now we got a pop-up. Now, I don't know why Bobby's standing there, but Bobby seemed to watch it with the catcher facing out. Now the first baseman came in to catch it, so nobody's at first. Wow. So they threw it to first. Bobby beat the throw, nice. and that actually scored the run. Wow. Because if Bobby didn't do that for some reason, they would have just caught it, and the runner would have stayed there. Right. And now, of course, we're looking for another hit, but Watts gets a little under it and hits a pop-up, and now Troy is working. We get a half swing by a good hitter. Uh, you know, he's very good. Uh, Dukes is a very, very good hitter. And now Guillory hits a ball. I'm sorry, OJ, and I can't pronounce his last name. It's too hard. Yeah, that's but the one with like 15 letters. 15 letters, letters you know, from one. Nigeria. Yeah. Right. But he hits a two-run homer. But again, we've got a lead. See, and we're not worried. We're not going to walk him. See, what I said to Troy is, don't walk him. Throw it down the middle and, uh, and just keep pushing it because we had a five-run lead. And so they get two runs. We still have a three-run lead. If you don't walk anybody, it's hard. And there he is. He gets a strikeout at the end, the eighth inning. Right. And now we got to extend Troy because, see, Franklin, originally we wanted him to go three innings, but he could only go two. And right here, Troy gets a strikeout. And that's their best hitter, Lucia. And he's really good. He's a great hitter. And to get him out was half the inning. And now he gets another one. And that was after a homer, a solo homer by the right. three hole. The but then he strikes him out. And here we got a great contingency of fans. We had parents drive from Baton Rouge awesome. for the one game. Awesome. And we had people from Houston there, Raymond Fondell, Board of Supervisors there. What a great following of the Jaguar Nation. And of course, Mike Robinson, not real happy after the game. But uh, our guys were, and they were very gracious. And uh, what a great thing. And this game, I want to let you know, from now on will, will forever be known as the Phoenix game. <laughs> back, back from, from the, the ashes. ashes. Well said, Dan. Well said. When we come back, we move ahead to a special feature on this week's edition of the Coach Roger Cato Show. Stay close. the key that transforms strangers into friends. At Southern Teachers and Parents Federal Credit Union, we believe in lending a helping hand. Transforming your dreams into reality. Because with friends, you can do anything. Come on by and check out our competitive loan rates. We'll see your dreams come to life. Whichever loan, we have you covered. Baton Rouge. Striking out is never fun, especially when it comes to your credit. So write this down, DiamondMonster.com. Through their great financing sources, they'll work to get you the lowest interest rate possible. That means lower payment on a better car, like a new Mazda or a great used car. I promise it'll be a car you will love at a price you would like. I've known these people for over 20 years, and they'll treat you like an MVP. On Airline Highway or DiamondMonster.com. Welcome back for segment four of this week's edition of the Coach Roger Cador Show. What we thought was the final go-round for the seniors didn't quite turn out to be that way, but they are still nonetheless seniors. Special correspondent Aaron Fulbright has an inside look at the class of 2017. Aaron, take it away. Thanks, 
Clarence. Another season is coming to an end, and that means we're saying goodbye to another class of seniors. Last Saturday against Arkansas Pine Bluff, we celebrated our seniors during senior game day. I caught up with a few to see how they're feeling about the transition. After some 40 games this season, it is time to say goodbye to six guys who have played over 160 games as a Jaguar. It is always a bittersweet moment to leave the place and team you have been accustomed to, but also exciting to go out and take on the next chapter in your life. Friendships have definitely developed and a family has been formed. Most say that one thing they will take away is their friendships and how to deal with adversity. I'll take away that I can deal with the adversity. We had a lot of things that happened that didn't really go our way, but we never gave up. We always came back with a smile on our face the next day. Um, definitely just being around my teammates is one of the most important things. Um, being around Dan since for four or five years, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to miss them. Oh, the excitement, the fun, the, uh, and the brotherhood I have with my players. I met my friends, teammates, yeah. All that. This season, I would have to say, has been one of the best in the last three years for the simple fact that these guys did not give up. There were many ups and downs, but just when you were about to count them out, they would come back with a win or even a sweep. That is due in part to leadership amongst the players. We this definitely year. have. We've definitely been leaders and we definitely made sure we kept a positive attitude all year. We made sure nobody got down, the younger guys or anything. But it's all about having fun and being happy. That's the most important thing. Despite the many transitions this team has endured, these seniors said there are many things that will forever be in their hearts and mind. Like Philip, who says he will always remember his first hit in college. I still remember the first hit I got in college. I remember my first dive and catch, and then my sophomore year was the year we played in the championship, so that run was fun as well. And what the seniors we say goodbye to this year include Robinson Mateo, Philip Williams, Dondreas Harris, Jamarcus George, Troy Lewis, and Harold Miles. Four out of the six started together, but they have all come together to make this a great year. Advice they leave for their fellow Jags? Go out and have fun. Always be happy, always have fun. It's just a game. It seems serious, but when it's over, it's all about the good memories, so make sure you're having fun. Uh, no matter what it is, just keep, keep your head up and just work hard and everything's gonna be fine. And you when it is all said and done, one has to walk away with something they are proud they have accomplished like Dondreas, who said he is proud he didn't let his self-confidence get him down. I'm not getting my self-confidence down. Uh, it's been a long kind of hard road for me this year, but I had my teammates, they had me, so everything was fine in the end. So what is next for these young guys? Three of them are headed or continuing their graduate studies, making sure they have their degrees. My bachelor's degree here at Southern, then I planned on going to the military in the Navy, and. Um, I'm trying to see where it's going to take me from there. And yeah, um, I'm still going to be in, in grad school, so let's see what happens from now. We have stated throughout this season that baseball teaches life lessons, and it's clear to see that these guys will carry on what they've been taught by Coach Kadar, but also what they learn from each other. Um, I also love that they are continuing to pursue their education and going back for their um, masters. Back to you, Clarence. <laughs> we come back, we will wrap up this week's edition of the Coach Roger Kador Show. Stay close. In the faces of our people, you'll see joy and you'll see pride. You'll see lines from years of laughter and from all the tears we've cried. You'll see eyes that shine with wisdom and the love that makes us whole. For within our people's faces, there are glimpses of our soul. Serving the people of Louisiana since 1934. It was nearly a decade ago that Brett teamed up to imagine your parks and you imagine big. 12 beautiful community parks from one end of the parish to the other, one family-sized water park, and five other parks just for your dogs. You have places to splash and places to explore. You have games to play and camps galore. No matter what you like to do or see, visit Breck.org and see how together we have made Breck better than imagined. 
Hey, Coach Roger Kador here. There's something about teamwork that brings the best out in any business. When I need a tow, I call Roadrunner Towing. Roadrunner's four generations strong and homegrown right here in Baton Rouge. Thanks, Coach. There's no job too large or too small. Call Roadrunner for quick, reliable, exceptional service. We don't want an arm and a leg, we just want your toes. And remember, take time each day to be a blessing to someone. Thank you. Welcome back for the final segment of this week's edition of the Coach Roger Kador Show. Dan Canterbury sitting in for Coach this week. Dan, with this Sunday game, as unusual as it was, what is that going to do for the pitching rotation for the tournament? Well, I'll tell you what, Clarence, in my experience, mm -hmm. most of the other conferences, they play their conference tournament on the Wednesday after their last weekend. Right. So I've been in the Southland and the SEC. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of normal in my pitching world. Right. But what it does is uh, we chop the game up between the three pitchers. Right. So we're going to start uh, uh, Tyler Robinson, the first game, who's been our number three mm -hmm. all year. But our one, two, and three are about the same. Right. And then we're going to go to our bullpen if necessary. Mm -hmm. And then we'll see how the arms are. But we should be in pretty good shape going into the tournament. Had Roger been there, been on the bus after this monumental win, what do you think he would have said to the team? He would have said, you have to understand, you came <laughs> back from the ashes. There's not a lot of times that you can get a second chance in life. I love you it. You got a second chance. You came back from the dead. From the dead. <laughs> when all is said and done, what do you want this team to take away from this season, Dan? Uh, never give up. Mm -hmm but never take anything for granted. I Great think point. coach getting uh, sick and having those issues, right. a lot of guys injured. Don't take your health for granted. Yes. Don't take anything for granted. Mm -hmm. Don't take a lead for, lead for granted right. and appreciate everything you have. Finally, this group of seniors, they deserve this opportunity, don't they've they? They've deserved it because they've done everything we've asked them to do. These mm -hmm. guys are all gonna graduate. Some have graduated already. Right. But they're all gonna graduate. They've all picked up the GPA. They've all worked with the APR and they played some great baseball, worked through some hard times, very proud. It is uh, a magnificent story and a very special thank you on short notice, Dan, for sitting in for Coach. On behalf of the crew, I'm Clarence Bugs. See you next week with the final edition of the Coach Roger Kador Show.